strong for Liquid, other than the Earthshaker mid, because they're they were all the lanes too. They could have, you know, capitalized on maybe do something with. Uh, VP's lineup just comes online a whole lot faster, and there's, uh, I think one of the other notable parts of the game, um, it would be a really boring replay, would be about like 11, 12 minutes in, where VP um, basically five band down mid and took that mid tower away. Yep. Maybe they got like one pick off of it, but I'm not, I'm not sure if it was like the kill was really that meaningful. It was taking away that mid tower and then the control they exerted over the ancient camps. Because that is something that both the Broodmother and the Dusa take advantage of, and it's yep. a, a repeated theme that we've gone over multiple times, right? Is the fact that Ancients, being able to farm Ancients, even stacking, all really important to be able to make some of these later game strategies work, which Liquid had. I think you can go now, though. All right. As I see that there's oh already goodness. heroes picked uh, with uh, yeah, everywhere. A, a Bane ready for Virtus Pro. We've got uh, Rubik and Earth. Stalker. Spirit for Team Liquid. They're well into their drop. Look at that. Bane for Dire. Bane, Nice Soccer, Rubik, or Spirit. No rush. No rush. So Liquid banned the Clockwork this time around, and they will get the Rubik versus the Bane. So opportunity to steal Fiend's Grip as well as Brain Sap is also quite strong. And they first phase banned the gyro. Holy cow. Alright. Why do, why is this going like speed version? I don't know, but we gotta get an Omni Knight apparently. I mean <laughs> Okay. Yeah. I, I don't know how We're you're good. gonna keep up with the pace of this draft. So I, far. I kept up, you know, I got five heroes on the Ten on the map already. Nice. Got him. Is that a off lane Omni Knight you guys feel or yeah, um, most likely. I I'm not a fan of safe lane Lumi, I know you aren't either. No, I am not. All right, second phase bans coming out. I think that's a life stealer. Yep. Uh, Broodmother was also a notable ban. Yep. Okay. And they actually do ban the Dark Seer, so they don't want to let another duo of VPs run. Is Clockwork ban out? Clockwork was first phase banned by okay. Team Liquid. Good call. Yeah. These clockwork performances we've been seeing feels like it's a truth. They Ursa the Omni Knight. So the Omni Knight is a very sad panda now when what? it comes to laning. Now, mm -hmm. granted, the Omni Knight can still be effective because Ten of his Vietnamese ultimate, but the AoE is just so garbage on it, it's really tough to work. Cap, hey. you're referring to the laning, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I feel like it it gets really only very bad for Omni when the phase boots come out. Because I feel like when you have boots and degen, you can sort of keep away. Remaining. But yeah, one stun and you're kind of dead. So if Night Stalker comes Five in or Bane just remaining. sets you up with the Nightmare. Yeah, you get nightmare I, I think the 1v1 is yep. fine, but the 1v2, 1v3 becomes pretty impossible. Yeah, I think, as, um, I think any support you want to sit there and... Um, and make sure that Ursa gets the boots advantage over the offlane hero. Then, he, then once he has the boots advantage. Vengeful Spirit, great hero to be able to kite around the Ursa. Um, a core that has a saving mechanism, very unique. I think Team Liquid is responding very much so based on what happened in game one. They got Brian at very hard. If you look at last game, their only forms of disables were a Kofi that was really hard to trigger an axe call, and I believe just Night Stalker's slow, right? Comparing yeah. to what we see here, Earth Spirit has a ton of disable, same thing with Rubik and Venge. They're going to play VP's game. They're going to fight at them. And apparently that's Team Liquid's game as well, even though they didn't play it last time. So let's see if they're going to outrush in the Russians, because the Russians are also very good at kind of these run-at-you strategies. Oh, my. So they get their hands on Shadow Demon. We saw it first phase banned previous game. I can't think it's the new hot pick. Lumi, is the dream real or is it just a boring old Bane core? It seems like it's the dream. Yes. You're calling it off lane? I'm going to put it on the off lane for you. I feel like it's more likely that it's going to be the Bane core. But I'd be pretty hype if uh, Shadow Demon is a core. Shadow Demon uh, now has one of the rare purges in the game that uh, removes things. Okay. Right, because Diffuse a Blade it was the go-to item for so many people, sure. and now you actually Ten have to have a hero that does remaining. something for you. 
You could get Helm of the Dominator, you know. The jungle could help out. Necrobooks could help out. Night Stalker could be a core. Now, Haz was a, was a homie. He DM'd me the other day. I asked him what... Just volunteered. The damage from a... Shatter Demons. Are you talking about Aghanims plus level 25? No, it, it was it was literally just like level 20. Um, so a level, uh, level 20 SD disrupts you, and if he hits uh, poison five times on you, he does 1,300 damage before reduction. Team from liquids just... turn to pick. Ooh, let's sh Shadow Demon, let's Shrek. Okay. We ended up back in 2013. So SD is probably not a, not a core, right? Puck is not banned. What is banned, guys? You got to help me out. Winter Wyvern? Storm. Storm. Storm and Clop. All right. Storm, Winter remaining. Wyvern. This is a pretty cool strategy here. Shadow Demon strats are remaining. super scary. You get the Soul Catcher, uh, you disrupt Soul Catcher. Lashrak is like guaranteed going to blow that hero up. Yep. Or Ursa is going to guarantee blow that hero up. Boom, you've got an illusion on your team. See, it's in the Omni Knight. Boom, double boom. You've got Degen Aura. Triple boom. Vengeful Spirit goes down. You get the Vengeful Spirit Aura. There's a... Uh, Shit's whack, yo. There's one scary part about VP's draft, I think. It's very single target. Yeah, it's all good. I mean, so far, Team Liquid doesn't really have any massive, you know, big team fight ult, but I think that if their last hero kind of covers that, they might have uh, a good chance of dealing with that because it's mostly solo pickoff. I feel like a very good defensive mid core that you could pick up here is the OD. Basically, mm -hmm. because they're so single targeted, you could just Astro somebody out. And now you have Venge and Repel and Astro. Then you could play this game of, hey, you're trying to disrupt us? We, we'll, we could also disrupt. Uh, and they could use it offensively as well. Of course, Rubik could also steal Disruption and just add another layer upon that. And of course, it really combines nicely with the Venge. With Venge, you want a really kind of high damage dealing mid, mid laner. And I feel like OD fits the bill. OD Omni Knight. Yeah. Yeah, Very that's a dirty combo too. Yeah. Um... They're taking their time though. I thought for a second it might be a team game, but... Lumi, how have you laned to uh, VP's heroes? I don't. I guess Night Soccer is off lane now. And then you put SD and Bane roaming around. Good That's my best call, guess. Lumi. Nice OD call. Indeed. Last pick. Well played. Well played. Well played. <clears throat> well played. All right. Well, is that enough? Can it stop the death ball? Is the question. So I, I think these kind of drafts, it's like really hard to call. It just comes down to who plays better. Because I feel like yeah. both, both drafts could just brawl nonstop. But both these teams are both so good. So who does play better at this point? Uh, I'm going to say VP because I, I think it's so cool that they're going to disrupt somebody, kill someone, then turn it into a fast push with the Illusion and the Diabolic Edict. I'm going to go with Team uh, Liquid again. I believe in the TI champs. Oh, well, Liquid let me down previous game, so I'm going with VP. I'm, <laughs> I'm like the flip flopper, you guys. Easy. Uh, but is it going to be a tie? Is VP going to take this 2 0 and therefore secure their spot at the DreamHack Major? Let's find out with OD Pixel and Spark. Thank you very much, Steve. Yes, we're ready for game two now of VP versus Liquid. And indeed, we got it. We have this, this fabled offlane shadow demon, it looks to be. Yes. I don't know about it. What was, I know Cap played with it. Cap, what is this what does this offlane shadow demon do? Does he stack some jungle and farm? He just kills people with shadow poison and stuff with soul catcher? Okay, alright. I mean I can dig it. He solo kills carries. So the old shadow demon. When if it's like a hard carry, you just disrupt them, purge them, and you, you poison them up and kill them. And po poison now does a billion damage when you hit level fifteen. I mean, they're looking to start something here. No one is spamming the taunt on Leshrac, as you can hear the disco. 30 seconds to battle. Probably the most obnoxious taunt in the game. And we'll just enjoy it for the time. Very strong aggro, or very strong uh, 
always with Shadow Demon Lushrak. Shadow Demon's like the king of first blood is what we used to see. You get disrupted, you're usually gonna go down here. And yeah, looks like it's gonna be aggro tridlane coming out from Liquid. They're trying to dodge is what that tells me. The they don't want Omni Knight versus Ursa. Omni Knight versus Ursa is abysmal. I'm pretty sure it was, I wanna say Kiev Major, when we saw the Omni versus Ursa a lot and people were like, oh yeah, you really can't do too much as the Omni Knight in the laning phase. Sure, you know, you look at it and you're like, Guardian Angel late game versus Ursa is great. But in laning phase, it's very tough and VP, they are switching their lanes up and they're gonna get that capable matchup for the Ursa. Yeah, I, mean, I agree. It's, it's so bad that I wonder if Liquid will just switch their lanes again as soon as they realize that they, they haven't really got the matchup that they wanted. I mean, maybe, they might be able to get a quick kill onto Pasha with a surprise. Yeah, maybe because yeah. it's a safe lane Omni, it's a little bit better, but it's still, not, it's still not nice. Not too nice. Pasha gets lifted up, bringing him back. Little connection. Got the disrupt. Ooh, disrupt the, the dodge indeed. Gank failed by Liquid. Quick plays from Pasha. Mid lane solo, doing what he always does. He's on the bane, he's there, he's enfeebling. Yep, he's just making Miracle's life miserable and he's making no one's life amazing. Absolutely amazing. Look at the right clicks. And then so that bottom lane, as well as we're saying, should be pretty nice for VP. So all in all, it feels like the lanes from VP are are pretty nice. It's, a lot of this is down to the Rubicon now, Spirit to make good rotations. And while GH is coming towards the mid, quick spam for no one's back and... Uh, is he getting out of this one? There will be the, the Astral from Miracle to hold back no one, and that does save GH, but... That was scary. Yeah, GH and Crow, they have to do stuff on this Ruby Guy Spray, otherwise these sort of static lanes, they're surely going to benefit VP. Yeah, I mean, if, even if like the Shadow Demon just does die, it, it's a Shadow Demon. I mean, they're trying again, but... Ah, shit. Pash is fine. I mean, he's the thing about Shadow Demon too is in the recent patches he's gotten buffed with his his health. Okay. So he's a very tanky in hero, and if at level ten you can choose to go for the ten strength talent if you want to, or that twenty five experience is pretty pretty dandy as well. Trying to get the bounty rune. Kuroki's gonna get it though. That should help. I know. GH is coming over. He's invis. Still only level one though. And yeah, my control's life is miserable as we expected. 13 and 9 last hits on the Ursa, 2 0 on Omni Knight. Mid of lane as well, Miracle. 4 and 1 to the 8 and 5 lash. But that's, you know, solo was mid, just spamming in people. So it's not a 1v1. GH. If his invis in mid, he's level 2 as well. No one might be able to get kicked back into the tower. No, okay. GH is just going to sit and wait for a better opportunity. <laughs> Dropping these taunts. And uh, as you say, yeah. A little good news from that one. Yeah, it gets a tower and hits GH like three or four times there. A lot of damage. Oh, it's all past, yeah. Oh, he's in, he's in trouble. He this should time. be this time around, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh, the jukes. Oh, oh. Pasha. Yeah. Now nah, they got him. Magic missile. He's wrap very from dead here. Oh, unless he. Oh, another one. Oh. Oh, he, oh that was so dead. close to being a very, very, very impressive juke. I mean, it, as it is, this is a lot of time. But finally, Kuro takes him down. Pash, yeah, trying his best to, to break the heels of Liquid. With uh, some, some very nice Duke attempts. And the other lanes, I mean, you said it earlier, 2CS and Mind Control. It's, They're really it's just stuck that. He can't get in at all yep. against these two heroes. VP is dominating two lanes, yep. and, you know, they're losing one lane, but Pash is still getting experience in that, as that Shadow Demon, which is one of the most important things to get because you can come back with stacks with your uh, with your shadow poison or just get involved in kills as cap was mentioning the shadow demon off lane we'll call it still is we've seen it a couple times in europe pubs recently and you just you just frag you get kills you get your illusion from that soul catcher and you go with your team there's the, the illusion now when you kill someone under soul catcher of course you get the illusion of them until they respawn Your lane miracle pushing pretty far up solo is here but he's just he's just a lawyer but with little rotation, they could actually threaten. Stun. Five seconds until Astro's back up. Cool down. This down bottom. Oh man. Ramses just chasing down mind control, mind control. Looking for the jukes. One more touch to do it. Purification, not enough at this stage to help that man. Ramses gets the kill. Jukes out the bottom. Make sure that he gets max use of the salve. 
There's two heroes down here though, and Ramsey's just trying to get himself out and away from the tower. TP back to the lane, coming through. They've got the telekinesis, dragging Ramsey's back with a purification from mind control. They'll claim the kill. Mid lane, three heroes, but the stun from no one. Does it connect onto Matumba? Jukes it out. Matu had to def TP mid though to defend Miracle from that tri gank. So now top lane is alleviated. Pasha gets a free open lane, and we'll catch up a bit on those last hits. And yeah, they force rotation. So everything looking very solid for VP, except for, of course, Ramsey's dying down bottom to that heavy committed rotation as well, though. Let's see what Pasha does in terms of items as well this game on the core, Shadow Demon. They got, they'll put a mid ward behind the tier one tower, so they do see the two liquid members sitting directly behind Miracle in that middle lane. Yeah, that's good news for Pasha. Nice that he can stick fairly far out. Yeah. Without the worry of that wraparound coming in from GH or Kuro. Exactly. And even bringing Lil in, maybe seeing if they can do something themselves onto Matumba Man because they know the supports are elsewhere. Yeah, Matumba Man coming a little close. It's going to be banished. They've got the Soul Catcher on him as well with the poison. Don't bring him low. Won't quite be enough to kill him, but doing their best to turn Matumba Man out. GH has come up top now with the rotation as well as Kuroki. Pasha has to play it safe. But still, definitely overall, the, the fact that. You said this mid lane and bottom lane going as well as they are for VP. Certainly worrying signs for Liquid in this laning stage. Regeneration. GH and Kuroch trying to mirror the movements, as it were, of Lil at this stage. Constantly following the Night Stalker's moves, but we can see the, they've got the vision there for no one to just come across. Gets the two man setup. Having Lil just standing there on the high ground, granting that vision. And Kuro's and GH's gank ends up in an absolute disaster. Fate's Edict, or Diabot's Edict is a lot of damage up early on. Walking into that one, a bit terrifying. And they're playing versus Night Stalker Bane. And yeah. the first night, I mean, Night Stalker is known as one of the strongest heroes, of course, at nighttime. And Bane just overall one of the strongest supports mid. Miracle gets slept up, they connect the stun, they're throwing the Edict. Miracle's able to distance himself with that Astral pressure they're putting. Forcing a lot of reaction. Matu still doing pretty decent on that net worth. Swaps in Pasha. Kuroki was looking to go for a warding setup though. Can he close the gap with the lift? We've seen his Dukes before. And they'll yeah, come out again. Too. Liquid trying to chase him. But Pasha a little too far. And back under the tower. Kuro can't go for the grab. Looked like some. That one looked like miscommunication. Kuro went to the right to go ward behind the tower. And at the exact moment Matu was swapped in to go for a play. Slight mistakes coming out from her liquid. Bottom lane, seven and a half minutes in, 50 last is 27 denies on Ramses. I don't think he's been missing a creep in this lane. As there's just been no pressure at all from mind control. As you, we were saying at the start, so little that this Omni can do against an Ursa, let alone an Ursa and a Night Stalker together for the most part of it down here. They're, they can go for this chase here. It's early, early Omni Knight pull up yep. They can chase him out here easy. More gold, more farm for the bear. As they should have this. They've got the Void back up in a second, if needed. And as it were, they might need to pop it. He's not quite got the mana yet. These boots, maybe he can close the gap. Quite a bit of a runaway. The D-Gen aura, oh. is it enough? It's, it's helping him. Mid lane Miracle for Snow as well. I mean, Ram he wants this kill, Ramses. He's, there we go, finally gets in. Indeed, mid lane, they've got the setup onto Miracle. In comes Ray, he'll come in and play the double. <laughs> he'll say thank you for that. Mind control leading him all the way over to the mid lane. And so he can be there to be involved in killing a miracle OD. I mean, yep, Ramses is having a the dream start this game on the Ursa. We did say it's a incredibly good Ursa game. Yeah. He gets that really favorable matchup. And during all that too, they did kill Solo with the with the rotation, but it's a support kill. Pasha now. Look at this. The gangs are coming in, but rotations are coming through. Liquid are deep. And uh, look who's here. Ramses is ready to look for more blood. Kuro goes down. With Summer Man able to TP out. Mind Control also came up to try and help out Kuro, but couldn't quite get in deep enough. BP's playing incredibly good with yep. their aggression. Looking nice. And Mind Control. They actually managed to finish off Pasha there. Yeah. So they do get something. But again, it's this... Yeah, I mean, yes, there's a core Shadow Demon, but it's still a Shadow Demon. Like, it's not really the biggest of pickoffs for Liquid. And it may cost him GH's life. He's got the rollout. Okay, with Matuma Man there, Ramses will be put off from, from chasing too aggressively. And we have the support battle at bottom. Yep. 
I swear, like, we need to catch up. Kuroki. A little bit afraid of the Night Stalker. There's a follow up rotation. He can play with his life quite easily. A level advantage as well between those two supports. GH also level four. Mask of Man is complete on Ramsey's as well, so Roshan is, is definitely going to be on the table for VP if they see a chance to sneak Not him in there. Yeah. A lot of movements from Liquid, so unlikely that they'll sort of let that one pass over them. And if they do try for it, VP, Liquid will almost certainly set, sort of scout it out. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Pasha, yeah. it's level six now, so starting to build up that that solo kill potential. If he gets that combo down with a lot of poison stacks in the wall, and about solo, GH has found him. We're bringing in Ramsey, solo. So it's getting you down there. It's going to be some time for him. By the defensive disruption, it's not enough to save him though. GA comes out, Liquid, making sure that Ramsey struggles to do anything in return. Ramsey's will get away. She might not be as lucky though with the magic missile into the purification degen or a rundown. Bring him though now the turnaround. Ramsey's backing on the front line. Boulder smash is there from GH. Ramsey's can't commit. Meanwhile, in the middle lane, no one was able to take down Miracle. The second solo kill. They just man fought each other. Miracle used Sanity's Eclipse, but Leshrac being such a high in hero doesn't get damage from it. Solo again, towards top, it instantly dies. Okay. And they needed this liquid after having a bit of a yeah, they slow this. time elsewhere, just being able to run at the heroes of VP. But that's twice now that no one has. Yeah. Well, the first, well, the first one, Ramses came in and took the last hit, but he does get the solo kill onto Miracle with that head start that was given by no by uh, Solo. No one on the lash right, the core lash. Yeah, he's doing it. What kind of build are we going to see? Looks like uh, what just Good. the Bloodstone standard. Going Makes sense to the game as uh, the Lash last pick when there you see the Omni Knight already revealed, you know, Guardian Angel, but Lash Rack is one of those yeah. pure magic damage heroes that pierces through it. And I've been curious if people are going to be building Kaya on Lash Rack. He's going to go for the Bloodstone first, but I, I hopefully, hope, hope he does because it, of course, just benefits everything. I, that he does say, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets it after, yeah. Maybe Yule's first from defensive and then into it or something along those lines. But we will see what no one prefers to go for. Good. All groups around mid, staying near that Roshan pit area is the most important thing for them. Do not let that Ursa for that quick sneak. Ramsey's just trying to farm up the blink dagger. And then... Can't look for smoke, can't blink into the pit as you say, or... Can look to just try and find those quick and easy pick-offs. Matuma Man also having his Mask of Man is done on the Vengeful Spirit. I mean, Timber Man, very farm. For the way those fights went up top, you know, he's 1 0 4. He's been involved in a lot of action for this stage of the game. And uh, he is level with Ramsey's not run. So now Ramsey's find the option to go into the road pit. Yeah. Like it splits away from it. I think Lick was going to almost certainly check this out, though. The pings are already coming through from GH. The question is if they can actually get in there quick enough to stop this. And it doesn't look like they can. The power of the bear is too strong. If they bring it down, GH rolls in, but Ramsey's. He's already grabbed the kill. He's already grabbed the Aegis. They'll take down the Earth Spirit. Solo's actually looking for the setup on the sidelines with the Fiend Spirit into the disruption. They've got the combo. Lil picks up the double kill. And Liquid with a failed attempt to try and do anything about VP going into the pit as it cost them two lives. But Timmer Man will be lucky to just get away. Of course, this guy's up. Mid lane. Ain't no one. Does get wrapped in. They've got a lot of damage to rip through this last track. The thing is, they can get him in a good position. Not a lot of ways that no one can can survive the right click from Miracle with that arcane orb. Just got the disruption, holding back Matuma. So the Matuma can't go for more. Again, it's Liquid with the full team here in the mid lane, trying to, to pull together and get the objectives complete. Knowing that, of course, if they can do this and force VP to play their game, they limit what VP can do with this time where Ramses does have the Aegis on Ursa if these sort of five-man situations are being forced. Posh has got that deep push with the max shadow poison on top of Arcane Boots. And now there's a blink on the Ursa. They're looking to get aggressive, bring five heroes to respond. They don't want Liquid to get any single momentum. Oh, that's what from Matumba sending there. There'll be defensive disruption. Matumba Man may actually pay off his life, but though, as Lil chases him down, Lil's gone. I mean, sure, they killed Solo, 
but not worth it whatsoever for Liquid as Liquid now just have to bail out and hope that they don't lose any more. Kuro trying for the TP away. He's not going to make it. Ramsey jumps up to the high ground, takes down another. They've got the Demonic Purge into the stun on Miracle. And this is just all falling apart from, for Liquid. That, that swap from Matuma Man. That was a crazy swap. It cost them absolutely heavily. They popped the GA as well. It's not even going to be enough to save GH. And what a mess from Liquid. Did he? They put the ward down. They saw, I think, they had gotten vision of almost everybody from the team, there. right? So yeah. he swapped himself into like, into four heroes. Oh, dude. Now, uh oh. I mean, VP, uh, uh, so they're going to be smiling again. They were smiling game one. I think it's that sort of play is coming out from Liquid here in game two. They can smell the victory. I know it's still early on, but those little plays like that do not set a good precedent for Liquid. No one, though. Getting ran down. He's gonna look. Is he gonna survive? My control closing the gap. Yeah, but the Give DJ Nora does get it. Yep. Now GH. No, nope. I'm not gonna get out either. So they have the telekinesis. They're finding kills in response. Every time they kill no one, it certainly is a big one. But Ramses is the Ramses is the real issue. They, they seem to struggle to, to be able to do anything about the bears. He's getting himself away. Solo's been left behind. The play around with Liquid. Grab the kill. Matuma Man does hit back hard with the double. Ramses. Off the mark there with that blink. Not stop battling. 23 kills, 15 minutes. Getting pretty crazy. They're contesting every single tier one push. See it again. I believe this is the swap. So he only saw, I mean, he saw two people. He still he saw, saw, three he saw a least, little but... passion next to it. Yeah. A little bit of a crazy one going in there, though. When a little yellow. When you're, at, when you're at a disadvantage versus an Aegis as well. Pays heavily for that one. But now they do claim themselves bottom tower after that second succession of events, and they're continuing to threaten. But Pasha's there to get that deep push going. Radiant or scan. Trying to get Stella coming in from the side. Ramsey's coming in straight away. There will be a scan from yeah, Liquid. Just... They know that people are coming in from this angle. Yeah. Liquid just backing away from people's lineup. They smoke, they want to re-engage. There is an Aegis on that Ursa, though. It is a bit of a tricky one to go for. They're going to try it, though. Straight in onto Ramsey's Boulder Smash catches one on the back of it all. Ramsey's actually quick with the blink out. He will be fine for now. Pasha may not be as lucky. They've the Fiend's Grip Control onto Miracle. Stolen Disruption by Kuro. Buys time, buys the save for Miracle to get out of the Fiend's Grip. No one, no one getting taken down there. Everyone survives. Radiance top tower. Tons of defensive plays attack. coming out from both sides. No one during all this. Top lane. He's got the edict. Glyph was used. Can try to push that that uh, top tower while they could go for closer Radiance bottom. GH tower. tries to commit. He's rolling in deep. Solo was back in after Nightmare to hold back Miracle. Disruption as well. GH is his full fine man as we said a liquid is sticking together on this bottom lane, trying to look for objective after objective. I think that's the best way that they can play. They have the team fight advantage with Omni and Earth Spirit. If they get split up and they start taking these like one by one fights, that's where they really suffer versus an Ursa and a Night Stalker. But yeah, team fight wise, Liquid are the stronger team still at the moment. Lisa Bloodstone now. Or no one. He just gets claimed as well. So no one did, you know, he had died, I think, two times back to back, but now, yeah, recovered quite nicely. And it will be the Shivas as a secondary choice. Wants some armor as well as that extra int. Armor versus the Venge. Int versus the OD. What items are we seeing effect. on the, uh, the Pasha nice. Shadow Demon? Just a four staff on after the Aether Lens. Okay. Nothing too crazy. Drums no. for mind control. And here's the smoke. Double damage is on Miracle. This could be very scary wherever they walk into Pasha. He's going to be found out. A couple of hits from Miracle should take him down. Indeed it does. That's going to be one gone. Bottle smash from GH sets up for a second. Easy. Liquid. Quick double kill from Miracle. Liquid really bringing it back. They group up. They take advantage of the daytime. And this is going to be, I think that's three towers in the span of two and a half minutes for Liquid. Yeah, they as soon as they start. Actually. That one little mistake round mid and then bam. No more mistakes from then. Yeah. This Just is clean play. Probably what... Kuro, you know, I would I would give Kuro, Kuro probably the credit, like a captain, yep. a very good captain will probably make that distinction, just be like, guys, we're stronger than them before they just grouped up, look at their lineup, they have Night Stalker, Bane, Shadow Demon, like, they don't have real team fighting heroes, it's just Leshrac who is their team fight. Play around the Ursa, 
and they definitely have the advantage coming out. And with the drums finished up on top of Venjora, they are quite potent, and they're going to keep putting the aggression on, putting more deep aggressive wards. Stick together is the name of the game here for Liquid. Tower Demon has fallen quite far behind, though. Pasha. 4,000 net worth. But Lil is that farming core. He's kind of become now as a Night Stalker. Medallion on top of the Spirit Vessel. There we They're go. They're smoking up now. It is nighttime. At least, you know, with the darkness popped in. It's going to turn into night in about six seconds afterwards. Yeah, they have to do something under the night time. <laughs> as, as we've seen elsewhere, the 5v5 engagements have not been bad at all for Liquid. And Liquid's all positioned together, though, still. They're, yeah. Look at this. They're, even, they're jungling together. That, if that's not an indication of group up, I don't know what is. is under attack. With that sort of play, BP aren't going to get a catch on that at all? No. They draw the look at that circle too by Sol. He's, yeah, yeah they're, they're in our jungle. We don't see them with our two wards. We don't see them ganking Ramsey's bottom. They're definitely just playing top. And now Liquid reveal themselves. And they take towers very quickly with this double drum and Benjora Mask of Madness. BP will get the trade though. Down bottom. Looking for that tier 2 fortification will pop by Liquid, but no intent of coming back themselves. They're going to threaten high ground though. Yeah. Forced reactions to come back. Radiance but this team is actually already coming out, so the tier 2 will remain alive down bottom. For now, they still have a couple more down in there. They have TP back as well. They know they know yep. have to be here in full Radiance force for this defense. Force reaction, back up. Do they have a smoke? No. But they have to make, they have to fix their other two lanes. But they might want to fight here. They have high ground advantage. Oh, well. the swap indeed. Makuma Man catching the Night Stalker. Instant pick off. All liquid. Kuro steals darkness. Sure, it makes it nighttime for the enemy team, but it, it, all vision is reduced to 675. Can actually work it out a bit, even, even if he does choose to use it. But they are still sticking in the area. GH with a fresh blink dagger. Yeah, Stella tries to come in for a bit of dewarning action, but he pays the price. The GH rolls across. He's got his eyes on Pasha, but to my man trying to close the gap for the magic missile, but Pasha a little too speedy. Still though, a couple of pickoffs, time and time again for Liquid. And VP have to be careful if they continue to play this way and get taken down by this five man of liquid. It's going to be very hard for Ramses to really have any sort of impact. And talking about Ramses, he's just got to put the BKB. As a miracle, just falls it on him. They've got time with the self astral to keep Miracle a little bit safe. And with the GA, Mira, Miracle's fine. Ramses just had to blink away. And on the side of it, on the Tumaman, he found the catch onto Pasha. Yeah. And my goodness, this, this game's just turning into a series of errors from VP now, as Liquid are playing very, very, very smoothly. They, they have this plan, as you say. They've realized they have this strength now, and they know that it's very, very hard for VP to do anything about this this, this sort of style of play. They don't really have, uh, on VP, they don't have a great person to start start the fight, and they don't have no. team fight. So they need just high vision advantage, and they need to get a pick off for those fights to start out. So they need Liquid to be split up. Yeah, like we said, Liquid has actually just been as a grouped five-man unit for a very long time here, but speaking of that, Matu walks on the low ground, BP's bottom. Oh, Solo straight up with the Fiends Drip immediately. Catching out of the eventual sprint, no hesitation from Solo. They have to, yeah, they have to take advantage of their ward vision, and that time they did. They saw him stepping down with that ward aggressively placed near those Ancients, and now they're looking to get something else out of it. They need to keep this aggression going. They need to pick off Liquid when they're not all grouped up. So they cannot take those 5v5 fights still. Kurel. They get jumped on if he comes too close. He has 4 staff though. And they have Omni Knight right behind as well as another Hurricane Pike on Miracle. But Liquid is in the position to defend this tower. And VP. They see the Roche spawn. Ramses goes directly in the pit. And Liquid. No chance of contesting it. Very quick and easy low down for VP. Pushing no one closer to the sheep has got. Liquid smoked up though. They don't care. Even if there is an Aegis, they want to take the fight here. No one has to watch out. We've got the catch. Catching him straight away with that boulder smash. Buying time for Matuma to go in. There will be the nightmare. Prone out to buy some time for no one. No one. He's actually fine at the moment with the evasion and such. From the Dalian, he's, he's going to be find that extra bit of armor. It's enough to save him. And now on the sidelines, GH does manage to find G Lil. They come back in looking for round two onto this flesh track. 
but they can't quite do it with the BKB on Ramsey's VP now able to chase down Liquid's cause mind control taken apart by the bear miracle as well also falling as they just got massively separated there in that team fight yeah you saw the fire happen right up the river, right down the river, right towards the middle. It was all over the place. And that's the sort of fight, as we say, that does benefit BP. If yeah, it's not all around one focused area, BP going to be fine in the end with the cheese plate. Ramsey's keeping his life intact. Matuma Man's going to try and come in. But a defensive disruption there from Pasha. Buys the space for Ramsey. He's been stripped from Solo as he does die to the tower. But he sets up for the stun onto Matuma Man. Four stars there to the get kick. Matuma out. And indeed, that'll save him. Now, Pash is in trouble. This three-man unit of liquid. One more poison. Matsu has to be careful. Okay. One more poison and he would have gone down to that soul catcher pop. This game is very hectic. Yeah, that was... It's like, I mean, that, that looked like it was VP winning the fight, but then they simply proceeded to to chase down a little too far. Brew put once more. And then the team play of Liquid got the better of them. Yeah, it was, that was like the that was pretty much a three versus four of yeah. VP chasing through that tower, and it was just really good spell coordination coming up from Liquid. Chain disabling Ramses, him unable to. He didn't have enrage up. He didn't have BKB, and that's where Ursa really starts to suffer. Two can lead now for Liquid. Solar Crest is complete, but mind control as well. GH has been. Doing pretty damn well on this Surf Spirit as well. Here we see them go in. The stun comes out. Ramsey's is a bit isolated. Solo is going to start tanking tower in a second. So he gets bursted after he gets the Fiend Strip off on Matu here in a second. The tower still hitting him. Still hitting him. Still hitting him. Gets the grip. And just dies right afterwards. And that's when Matu gets away. Stun comes out. But GH kicks him out of there. And then the disables continue. That stolen split earth from Kuroki. Landing on Ramsey's there, just enough to stable. Now, once again, Liquid, they're outside the base of VP. They know that without that Aegis and such, this push can become even easier. The smoke to behind Miracle, sort of hoping that VP would go for the bite on them. But VP, they're, they're stepping up, the, they're playing it safe now. They know that this is a very hard game to play with the, the team play that Liquid half with this this backup with the Earth Spirit and the Omni Knight behind them. It's such a close game in net worth too. It's only a 2k advantage for Liquid and the yeah. experience is still has, has been an advantage for BP the entire game. Maybe it's now starting to level out, but it's been pretty much even across the board here. Now some bigger items start coming out. You see Miracle picks up the Blink Dagger, so he's got that save mechanic for himself always out of the Astral. Solo Crest on Mind Control. And I think Matu has picked up an Eagle Song already. So stacking up that evasion versus Ursa, a very good choice. Yeah, Ramsey's not going to be having an MKB or anything anytime soon. He'll have Basher soon, and Basher so can't, Basher's can't but, miss anymore. Sure. So that'll be something to at least deal with the, the itemization from Liquid. But VP, they're really trying to take advantage of this nighttime. Get Vision down, try to catch Liquid when they're off guard. Liquid, all five position together still playing that game. 15 seconds until night. without that All forward from GH nearly finding the boulder smash there as the lane was getting shoved in bit by bit gold and sweet a bit of an interesting one because both teams they, it sort of feels like they have a lineup to, to play it to play for this mid game you know that neither, neither team with sort of a a very late game oriented lineup. They both should have their strengths down. I guess we're seeing that in terms of the even trades overall. Oh, now, Liquid uses their shrine early. That was a very early pop of it, and Liquid, they're going to look to abuse that. They jump straight in onto the Lesh Rack, bring them down low. Lil's trying to force this Omni Knight off with the silence and such. Can he bring him down in time? No, Maestro does get one heal out, but he still falls. Ramsey's finds the double. Matuma Man finally getting dropped as well, and despite. Popping the shrine early, VP is still able to storm away with the team fight. Ramsey's gets the chance to sort of get his claw stuck in to the heroes of Liquid. And a very, very nice play for Lil as he just prioritizes mind control, makes sure that that Omni Knight can do absolutely nothing in that. Okay, time. Now, I was about to say, did he get the? Did he actually get the the silence on the Omni? He had to have, because yeah, the Omni Knight got like no spells up. Same thing with Rubik. They both just got completely demolished there from VP. Even though they popped the early shrine. 
with yep. the BKB on Ramses. There's not a lot of damage going through that besides the bench. Uh, OD did not build up enough teams before that Sandy can put his number. Oh, what? Yeah, he's gonna get jumped on Ramses moving into the base, trying to chase him down. Can't quite do so. Miracle level to kite him up. Now they turn, they've got the grab onto no one, no one dragged forward. They can't quite punch into it. That is Miracle as Miracle has to back away. Patrol and Kuro looking to go in, but Ramses jumps straight forward as silence again from Lil onto the Omni Knight with a four star from the swaps there. Matuma Man buying the space from Mike Charles to get out. They've got the magic missile onto Solo. Defensive disruption comes through from Pasha. Solo doesn't survive. The lightning props jump through, take him down. Kuroki with the stolen lightning doing it oh, for Cypher still. The big kills go in the way of BP. They've lost Miracle on Liquid. They've lost mind control. It does cost them Ramsey's life as he dives a little too deep. No one as well starting to fall low. But he gets himself away. Mr. A man and Kuro, can they punish this guy? I mean, Kuro, again, this lightning spam from Kuro. That stolen spell has done so much damage, it feels like, in this engagement. And it will be enough to force VP back. They did have to expend the miracle buyback. But they get themselves out of that. VP turning away. up the Yeah, look at heat. that. Go in the fight. Look at the damage done by uh, Kuroki on the Ruby. That's pretty high, isn't it? Yeah, he got just a lightning six, spam. Six lightning spams, three big bolts. Six lightning storms. He did more damage than the less, didn't he? Yep. Yeah. He did 100 yeah, more did. damage than less. Did more damage than less. Correct. Miracle forced to buy back. That is very painful there. Really needs a couple more items. I think they need a defensive item on mind control. He just keeps getting silenced up, and he can't really get anything off in the fights. Well, that is the thing as well. I guess we've not really talked about it, but one of the reasons why Rubik is so good against Lesh, because Lesh, what, with the stun and the lightning, it has a bit of a cast time, doesn't yeah. it? With Rubik, you're just no chucking cast. him out. Zero cast time. It's... That's that's pretty crazy in these fights. Yeah. I can't remember. Was was the Rubik picked up after that? Picked up first. Oh. Okay. <laughs> but Kuroki, he read into the minds of VP. He knew that they were going to play less rack, and he said, "I want to steal this spell." Yeah, Lesh was the last of it. Okay. Next level plays. Next level strategization from Kuroki. Yeah, I was, I was actually uh, I was looking at the Ursa talents as well before because yeah. I. I hadn't really thought about which ones have been changed, and they're actually really nice now. That mana regen, you pretty much can always sustain all your spells That's now. very precise, isn't it? 1.75. Yeah. Why not plus two? Plus, that would be too much. 16 Agi, plus one in range duration. 1.75. You see the other one, other than range duration? Plus 25 second fairy swipe duration. Oh. It'll be 45, but the range duration is quite nice now. Fight. They have to find, no, they find Solo. Yep, and Solo's gone. He's a pick up outside the base. He's out by the river again, trying to go for these adventures. But this is going to mean that they quickly go into Roche. There's a man down on VP. That's the refresher shard, Roche, too. Oh, who's getting the refresher shard? You ought to give it to what the Omni Knight shard. I would imagine it would be. Oh, actually, you know, I'll tell you what. Miracle? Double Sanity's Eclipse. That is. That can be pretty insane in the team fight. He's got to get the instact up, too, though. But sure. Yeah, it, it can be very, very. But anyways, we're still going to like wipe the mana out. I of think Omni's best. Give it to. Oh. Yeah, they give it to Omni. I want to see the double sanity. Because if mean, he does get the in up, that is just bam bam. But he can repel GA. True. Refresh, I mean, repel somebody else, and then GA again. I mean, that's just yeah. that just seems way too oh. strong. <laughs> sure, the double sanities. He hasn't been able to, to really get the, the greatest sanities eclipse off either, though, because Ramses has BKB, and then Lash being one of the highest in heroes, he already has more in than the OD, so it doesn't really do a whole lot to him. Sure, the other heroes would get decimated from it, but. He's got to be able to stack up those charges. One thing we've got to watch, though, which is quite a cool interaction that I didn't realize. I guess it's obvious, and you're probably going to be like, yes, it was obvious. But, uh, of course, with the <laughs> cheese, you got to watch out, because if that boy gets a spirit vessel on and you pop the cheese, it's you get no heals at all. You get, I mean, it's only 70%. I mean, you still get a little. It's only 70%. 70% right? is a lot of percent, though, you know yes. what I mean? It's no longer that burst back to full health. It's about, like, a third of your HP, probably. Look. Right around with him. And that's another pick -off. Liquid. Moving around as a unit, finding the kills. So wait, it was 2,500 minus 70%, go Fog. <laughs> like 400 something, 450, I don't know. Math's hard right now. I'm not doing all that math right now. 10% is 250. Because 25% would be 500, right? So it's a little bit more than that. 550? 1750. I think it's 750, right? Is it 750? No, yeah. I mean, math's hard. You whatever, get 750. Someone bust out a calculator. <laughs> Cap, is that you? What's uh? 2,500, what's 70% 70% of 2,500? 
No, like it's it, would be, it would be 30% because it's 70% reduction. Sure, well, reduction. you can do it both ways. 100 minus 70 is 30. It's 250. It's, it's 750. You're right. It's, yeah. I was right. Good I was man. right. EU mass prevails. EU mass prevails. There now they're going go. in. There we go. They're going to jump straight away. Buy Double back spot. immediately. But Tumba Man ready to go. Rams is supposed to be giving the raid, but the GA is out. Mind Patrol's being looked towards. There's the double GA. And with that, they surround no one. No one looks for the stun. They do manage to get Mind Control. VP, they get the double kill with no one. Sanity's Eclipse comes out. Matuma Man's still alive in the midst of it all. They've brought down no one, but they've cost the life of the ages. That's going to be Matuma Man down once. Can VP take him down again? I don't know if they can because they're all so low. Lil trying to run. Miracle chases him down, grabs the double kill, and now Liquid, they're looking for some damage on the base. Big pickoff. That refresher shard, though. Bless you, Owen. Refresher yeah. shard, double repel, double GA. Shows the potency of it as well as the fresh butterfly picked up by Matu. Oh, pistol blades there for, uh, for Ramses. He's he's doing his best, bless him. It feels like his team, they're dying around him. Ramses is trying to keep straight eyes. Can we have a look at the KDA? How, well, we'll hold that in mind. Because no one there, he's looking to fight. He's got his eyes on Kuro. Ramses jumps in straight away. Oh, uh, wait, that was their... That was Pasha's disruption, right? Isn't it? That looks a little weird. Ramsey's jumped in, got the Abyssal Blade down, and then Ram Pasha disrupted him. Um, so maybe it was Kuro. I don't think it was, because Kuro had the double either. either way, he gets the kill anyway, but two man's down. Ramsey's going to chase for more. Pops the BKB, seeing if he can find out this OD. They've got the slow for the Lightning. Miracle looking for the Jukes around the tree line. Pop and uh, Miracle will get away. And Pasha's got the Venge Illusion now for 63 seconds. Oh, that's He's not microing it, though. Pasha. He's looking at it. He's like, what is this? Did I read the patch notes? No, I didn't. Is he at... Pa Dude, that's this 50-second Venge Illusion, son. That game's the Vengeance Aura. Move it. Come on, boy. Pasha's like, what? Solo's like, what? What is this? I mean, come on. Did he read the patch notes? Are they actually just not going to I mean, surely it's it's worth using, right? I mean, if this is some next level pro strat, they're like, I don't need this. There anymore. we there go. There we go. There we go. Took him a moment. No one's in. Onto Miracle, but no one. Ramsey's committing. Oh, straight away looking for the pick, but the double force is buying space for Kuro. No one coming in from the side. They've got the banish. Out onto this Earth Spirit. GH trying to roll himself away. Can he quite make it? He cannot. GH is down. Mind Control now being focused as no one has solo looked to chase the gap. They've got the Nightmare to Miracles taken off. Ramsey's jumps forward. Yules onto this Rubik's. Not going to save him. Kuro's down. BKB's popped by Ramsey's. A liquid of force back up to the base. Two members of Liquid down, mind you, and they do not have buyback. Neither Kuro or GH. Now Pasha's on the ball here. He's microing the Earth Spirit illusion. Oh, there, we oh, there we go. He's, he's read the patch. Ready to go. Such a back and forth game, though. Next item of choice looks to be a nullifier for Ramsey's auto imagine. Yeah, that'd be really nice. Actually. Stop those BTPs. Stop the Yule Scepter. No one gets oh, swapped in. Oh, that's the swap, but a defensive nightmare comes through. Now Ramsey's here, but the counter play jumps forward. Miracle, he's got the stand as he's eclipsed, buying some time for Mind Control. Stun connection is going to be a bit off time if Mind Control gets himself out of there. Get a fair few hits onto Lin Fat. Miracle just jumping forward with the arcane. Now stand as he's eclipsed, drop down, and he's going to be able to burst down both of them. Pasha and Lil forces to the side. GH nearly found it there. I thought he was going to, but didn't quite manage to get the. His smash off in time. It's still good news for Liquid though. The Tuma Man grants himself a double kill. This game, I mean, this has been and an back the other way. back and forth yeah, game. Exactly. I mean, I don't know what's going on in between these two teams. They love to, to seem to brawl it out. We said brawls would happen. Yeah, with no sort of clear clear winner each time. I mean, it's sure one moment, Liquid, they take the win. They move down mid. The next minute, VP, they take a couple of heroes out and they're pressuring the base of Liquid. No Pasha for 60. He did use the buyback. Or, yeah, he had used the buyback in the last engagement, so. Yeah, this is looking like Liquid should get. There's no Glyph available either. Yeah, they should at least get this Rax for sure. Rax, yeah. No tears. who's on the other lane. They could look for, uh, for an extra lane if they want to. See what the plan is, how safe they want to play it. I think they should. Yeah. They don't have Sanities, but they have all of Omni. Make the stun, jump off from Ramsey's immediately. BKB pop from this bay and wants to try and commit, but the purification's there. GH is going to be kept alive as he gets Jules Dubs. Ooh, repel as well, buying some space for GH, but he still goes down. GH is gone. They put the GA here, Liquid. With that in mind, they will have to back off. BP. Can they chase anyone off the back of the retreat, though? That's the question. Doesn't look like they want to. They're staying in the base. So again, 
The push comes through. BP hold. They did lose the mid racks though, so this time a bit of permanent damage being done by Liquid. Yeah, and now the BKB is down to five seconds on the Ursa. So that is where it can start to hurt him quite quite a lot versus the uh, OD, who now has a Mystic Staff on top. Okay, that's a lot of imp. Yeah. That is a lot of imp for those sanities. All four cores, they're, they're very, very close in farm. No one is getting left behind at all. Just Tolo, but he's not a core. True. Tolo is 1, 12, and 11. And he's The poor soul. And it's Tolo. This That's is how he plays his time. game. This is how yeah. he wins his games. Yep. Instant D-Ward by Kuro. On the high ground. I like how Lil went for this Blink Dagger purchase on the Night Stalker too. Just pierce the back lines, try to yeah. find that Omni Knight or the uh, Earth Spirit. He can get the Silence on either of those. A lot of the team fight from Liquid is deterred. And Pasha is going to be going for that Aghanim. And he's got the minus. He's in level 22, so that Shadow Poison cooldown is only one second. I wonder if he'll take the 500 purge damage because he's going for Ags. What's Three the other option at 25? Five second disruption banish. You pretty much oh, put someone yeah. out of the fight for seven and a half seconds. <laughs> but if I he's mean, going Aghanims and you have an Omni Knight on their team, you purge off that GA off of three people. That is true. I don't, it's just that, that, you're right, the banish, that is a long time to take someone out of fight. Yeah, it is I mean, an absurd amount. VP positioned on the high ground here. No. Fresh, B, fresh BKB on no one there. And he's got a good charge, chunk of Bloodstone charges with that 30, 30 mana per second. Sustained his spells nicely. Oh no! Ramses! He's walked into this, there'll be a defensive disruption, trying to buy him some time. He gets the BKB out, but the physical is bringing him down low. He'll turn, we'll be able to find GH. Gets the Abyssal Blade, thrown down onto Matuma Man. And Matuma Man, the BKB for himself, is already out of there, as well as the Solo Crest buff. He's fine, turns towards Solo. With a one for one, they get a swap back onto Pasha. Pasha claimed as well, double kill for Matuma Man. Pasha still has a minute, or 80 seconds and a minute before the buyback cooldown is up. It doesn't look like Liquid will be able to do anything with those two kills, though. We'll find out Rosh. Rosh isn't responding yeah. in a minute. They want to play it safe and, and get that, make sure that they do, if for anything, just to, to ensure that if they were to lose a fight, BP themselves can't just claim it and go down a lane. Yeah. That was uh, uh, Matama Man's fresh BKB that was shown. Yeah. So a lot of that damage that was coming out from the last track is now negated. Do that. And I want to say there's almost a sheep stick on Miracle. Yeah, he's going to have it very, very, very soon. What did you get the 25 on OD? The last spell life steal this time. Okay. Doesn't go for the Arcane Orb steal. That used to be what everyone's. But was that because previously, what was the other option? Was it not the. It wasn't the spell life steal before 707, was it? Uh, check it out. Because it. Obviously, yeah, in the past, you would always go for the plus 60. I think that may have just been because the other talent was not very good. I might be totally wrong that it was the same, but it's interesting I don't to think see it was the same. It. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it wasn't the same. But uh, even so, yeah, 15%. With the amount of damage it, that he does with the Arcane, that, that does add up. And uh, I guess at this sort of pace, he feels like the 60 seconds is, is not worth it. It's on. We can have a fight. The Hex. Yeah, there's the Hex reveal. There'll be some time with the Nightmare. Buying some potential for no one. Allows him to get the BKB off Miracle with the Astral. Dodging the stun. But Tim Man already picking up one of the back lines. He finds the Night Stalker. Looking for no one. No one falling low. The BKBs run out on no one. And the Arcane Orb from Miracle cuts it down. No one does get the deny off though. But this may not matter at all for VP as Liquid. They just have Miracle walking in with the status. He's Eclipse. Swap back as well onto Pash. Yeah, everyone getting ruined on Liquid's line, sorry, VP's lineup, and they'll buy back on VP. They're trying to get back in. Ramses does have buyback available. Pasha and Solo, sorry, Lil and Solo do not have buyback. When Omni Knight's allowed to get his spells off in the fight, it's so difficult for VP to really do anything. Just the GA completely counteracts Ramses. And the repel on top of the BKB. This is so hard to, to, yeah, to slow down this sort of push now that Liquid have the punch the Matuma Man has. Look at Miracle go straight in with the Hex. He's found the catch. He's found the kill. Pasha gone for 100. Ramses will buy back. But I don't know if they can bite into this lineup of Liquid at all. It's all too big and scary for Liquid as they move from lane to lane, sweeping across the base, down towards the bottom. Looks like GG. Might be a last ditch effort fight for VP here with the Glyph. 
but in still like it no one into the midst of it all plus the BKB and the Chief's guard Ramsey's just get the lockdown onto GH turning towards Matuba Man but Matuba Man with that evasion he's able to walk it off no one's pumping out a lot of damage with the pulse no Bakuro falling low they'll turn towards uh -huh. Bakuro with the self heals buys himself some time he's still alive for now Lil can't get himself in on this kill onto the Rubik Kuro survives keeping going finally gets taken down as Ramsey's comes in grabs the double but it did lo they lost so much life there's going to be the jump in they've got the signs and indeed GG is called it's all too much for BP as Liquid will take game two. So the other talent was 8% spell lamp. Uh, spell lamp. Ah, so yeah. pretty, pretty, pretty awful. Pretty awful. In the past. But yeah, 50% spell lamp. So miracle prioritizing that of the uh, classic 60 second extra time. And overall, Liquid in a very back and forth game. At the end of the day, though, it was always down to the fact that Liquid's five man was just just seemed a lot lot more uh, overwhelming than than what BP had. A little yeah. underwhelming. They had they, an Ursa lineup. It, it's not really built for fighting 5v5, especially when there's sort of an, uh, 